Hey everybody, I'm Steve. I'm Nina. Welcome back. Last week, we started telling you 20 different things we noticed as cultural and societal differences between America and Germany. We only got through 10. Yeah, and this week, we're gonna go for the second half. Come check it out. So, we definitely need to have coins with us when we travel around Germany. Right. Because if you want to use a public restroom at any of the tourist areas, the Germans don't play. Not even like tourist area, it's just like... Yeah, no, it's true. Any, any public restroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Parks, train yeah. stations, Yeah. you name it. Yeah, no, yeah, okay, fair. Um, yeah. Bring coins. But about cash and credit though, what makes more sense to carry around? Yeah, I think for us, like in Germany, most of the places do accept a credit card. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic or what. Yeah, but, less cash changing hands. Yeah. That makes sense. Very, very yeah. sensible. But still bring certain cash with you every day. Because I think there's like some family run restaurants, they only accept the cash. And also most of the bakeries, they only accept cash. So have both. A little bit of both, um, but definitely you can get pretty far on credit cards if you need to. You know what? I noticed there's almost no fast food in German cities or towns. You know, it's true. Yeah. Um, if you uh, are looking for fast food, you know, I mean, first off, you can find lots of amazing food yeah, in those cities definitely. and towns. Uh, you're not missing a whole lot if you're not finding those fast food restaurants. But the only time I think we saw them uh, was on the outskirts of town. Kind of like if you're on a highway and you take an exit for you know a smaller town, there's usually like this kind of like roundabout thing where there are gas stations and then like there might be like a sandwich shop or like a burger place. Um, but they're never like in the city center, right? Maybe I'm but not sure. We didn't really like look for it. Yeah, no, we weren't we weren't there to look for McDonald's. Yeah, you know, we were trying so. to find out what Alflaf was like. And <laughs> if you want to hear about our Alflaf adventure, check it out. Okay, <laughs> I keep doing the thing. Um, I have to. I must. The cards. The cards command me. Um, but yeah, no, it feels like in some ancient time of history that we learned in Germany, a agreement was reached between the German prince electors and the Burger King where uh, him and his people could not enter the city limits, right? It was, it was, uh, it was verboten to them. <laughs> and, um, you know, and I think the Germans are kind of happier in some ways to have like, you know, nice bakeries and mm -hmm. delicious German, Italian food and things like that. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, so if you're looking for that Mick sandwich, which you'll need to go out of the city. So in German culture, I think like on Sundays, it's their Hohe Tag, which means like a quiet day. Mm -hmm. So if you making any loud noises, the neighbors gonna go to complaining and stuff. Yeah, like you can't like fix your home on those days. So, yeah, uh, I'm or, not sure. We didn't we didn't really do anything really noisy at our Airbnbs, but we were at a restaurant one day. Yes. And like, all right, so we were at a restaurant, it was outdoor seating. Yeah. We had a German friend of ours uh, chatting with us. Uh, we mm -hmm. were all sharing some noodles or something. Mm -hmm. And it was like on a busy street with like cars and buses yeah. going by and all that. And we were just like having a chat. It may have it may have involved politics. We may have gotten a little heated. We, we may have even gotten a slightly elevated I think decibels. like we're that loud. Yeah, but we were just talking like, yeah. The way I talk in America with my friends. Yeah. Um, and like, there was definitely a German lady who turned all the way around like an owl and was said some stuff and was like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the our our friend translated and was like, oh yeah, no, she's she told us to go mind our mind our manners and be quiet. Yeah. Um, and then or I guess like, oh yeah, I guess we did. Okay. Didn't realize we were uh, in violation of yeah of the standards. Um, but, uh, you know, that can happen in restaurants, so... so. People, mind your manners in restaurants yeah. and on the whole tax. Yeah, they may also just not have liked our politics, or uh, just didn't want to hear it, which I could understand, <laughs> so... Yeah, if you need something on Sunday, you might be out of luck, because uh, most stores... 
I don't think any stores really are open on Sundays. They have this yeah. whole thing culturally where Sunday is like the quiet time. So yeah. maybe like a gas station will be open, maybe um, very few things like hotels will still do business because you're staying there or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, the supermarkets probably not, restaurants probably not, maybe. Yeah. But, um, but the you, you yeah. have to really plan ahead, you know. Yeah, but restaurants in Germany are always like close earlier uh, yeah. as in America. Yeah, compared to America for sure. Yeah, um, yeah and um, bonus. If you want to find uh, breakfast food of any kind, your options are pretty much bakery. In America, we have uh, at least, especially in New Jersey, we have like diners and you know, there's I like, hope. yeah, there's <laughs> the International House of Pancakes. Not as international as you think. <laughs> Didn't see a single one in Germany. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, if you're looking for uh, breakfast food, you either are looking at bakery or you know making it yourself. Yeah. We didn't really see any like sit down. Breakfast Ready restaurants. For, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can't just like get a bunch of pancakes yeah. or uh, or uh, some eggs or something. Um, so yeah, that's something you gotta be aware of. And let us know if we're wrong. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. If you if you if you know where the secret German food is, <laughs> let us know for next time, um, and we'll yeah. be really delighted to hear. Mm -hmm. One other thing that we thought was interesting is that if you're in well, in our Airbnbs, mm -hmm. if you go to use the bathroom. Uh, they all have this little sticker by the toilet. It looks something like this, and it's basically saying that you know they encourage you not to stand up to pee uh, because I guess it makes a mess or whatever. Yeah. Or they're afraid that some people make a mess. I certainly never made a mess <laughs> standing up and peeing in my entire life. Um, oh. And uh, yeah, so they want you to sit down, pee, and that's fine. Uh, and that's just weird because uh, Americans we just stand up and pee all over everything. And it's, <laughs> I think that's in the constitution. Yeah, I, I believe I, you know. I think like the first time I saw that that uh, sign mm -hmm. in the Airbnb, I thought like you cannot pee there like at all. <laughs> I'm like, no, where do I use? The yeah. Oh, uh, you cannot pee. Cannot pee in this bathroom. <laughs> so we've been told by our German friends like you can't tell them happy birthday before or on the actual happy. Birthday. <laughs> yes, no guarantee it will be happy. This is Germany we're talking about, right? Um, but yeah, there's some kind of bad luck thing attached to it. Um, I think that sounds wild. Um, if you or someone you love has had a inappropriately timed birthday wish and has had you know a whole year of bad luck for it, um, that's crazy. But let us know in the comments. Yeah. I don't care how long the story is. I want to read it all. Yeah, only so till. Your German friend's happy birthday after. Yep, after the whole year is complete, <laughs> right? Stop. And don't tell them like happy birthday at like 364 days early, because that's also a problem. I think like 10 years ago, I saw people like just be naked, like in the subway station. In Germany. You mean. In Germany. Oh, in Germany. okay. We're still on the German video. Okay. Yes. Good. <laughs> Which is interesting. Then, as I learned German, then I learned like they have like this like if kaka, which means like a free, free freedom culture or something. Yeah, free from clothes culture. <laughs> but spell all K's because it's German or something. Yeah, like a freie Kultur. Oh, okay, that sounds yeah. much more official. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, we didn't see any of this on our visit. We were there yeah. for a little while. But I mean, you were in the, the first time you went to Germany. You were there for a few months. Yeah. Right? And we were only there for maybe two weeks. So maybe yeah. we just didn't stay around long enough to find some naked German people doing naked German yeah. people stuff. I think so. And also, like, we're now going to a sauna or oh yeah, those, yeah. yeah, kind of place. Because I I heard like those places like men and women just like go in the same room and naked. Yeah, enjoy the heat. Yeah, well, um, I heard. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna get off this what we hear and stuff because we just want to talk. What we saw, we are reporters, we are journalists, we care about giving you the truth, and we need eyewitness accounts for that, and that's us, our eyes. So, one other thing as we uh, toured Germany, uh, we had lots of great food, lots of great beer. You've probably seen plenty of super cuts of me drinking beer in one place and any other. Um, 
but the drinking ages in Germany are different than they are here. Mm -hmm. um, in America, it's like 21. Yeah, you're 21 to purchase and to have. And then in Germany, uh, you can be 16 for uh, beer. beer and wine, things like that, but 18 for hard alcohol, like, you know, vodka or whiskey or things like that. I think in China, there's none. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when we were in China uh, before, um, there that was a couple years ago, but uh, yeah. yeah, I definitely don't think there are any restrictions. Maybe it's the kind of thing where, like, if the local shopkeeper knows who you are, they're like, eh, no, I know your parents wouldn't want you to buy that. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything hard and fast on the rule books. Let us know if we're wrong. We always need to ask the audience to correct us, and no one has yet, so we need to be perfect <laughs> at knowing everything about the world. Uh, so please look forward to our 866 volume uh, travel <laughs> encyclopedia, where we'll tell you everything you know about everything. <laughs> and in America, you're supposed to tip. If you have a service, mm -hmm. um, restaurants, um, sometimes uh, the cleaners at hotels, you leave some money for them. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, there's like people you don't tip as often, maybe um, some people tip gas station attendants if they like wash their windows or whatever, but like, I don't know, it's kind of a gray area. Probably should if they're doing something nice for you. Um, but in Germany, like, the question is, do you tip or not? I don't yeah. know. It's still on some, we tipped when we were there. We right? tipped, yeah. yeah. We, we caught on after we asked our first German person, said, oh no, you did tip. Like, oh, what have we done? <laughs> did you not get the tips to do the tips? Right. So, um... Yeah, so we, we kind of started doing that. Yeah, let us know. know. Yeah, like, tell, yeah, let's, uh, can we make a poll on the, in the comments? I don't know, actually. Ooh, yeah, we should make a poll. Let's make a poll. Let's make a poll. Look out for our poll. Yeah. Well, folks, that was 20 things that we noticed uh, that in our trip to Germany mm -hmm. that we found were very different from America where we live. We yeah. hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed our silliness and information, please like and subscribe. We probably won't make a big list like this again for a little while, so check out all our other German-related content up top, and we'll be seeing you very soon. Adios for now, folks. Ciao. These count as two things. One, two. <laughs> for our 20, Let me redo this. 20 Let me items. Redo this. Okay. So, so. Before we went to Germany, before I... we went to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got you so stupid.